Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Tech Chit Chat Show. If you are new here, my name is Ken. You can find me on Northern Viking Every Day and Northern Viking Explorer on YouTube. I am here with my darling co-host, <laughs> Stephen Loney, on YouTube and 8-Bit Warrior on Twitter. Wow. Hello, darling. <laughs> that was new and unexpected. Good yeah, morning that, to you. That Ken. came out and just sounded weird. You are my brother-in-law. Doesn't make any less weird. Okay, fine, whatever. Just stop. Let's go. Let's carry on. <laughs> Let's stop there. <laughs> Good morning. So, well, hello to everyone. Hello to Thomas. Thank you for watching the Tech Chit Chat Show. We see you. Hello, Cody. Welcome. Um, yeah. Anybody else who's out there, say hello and welcome. So we have a good show for you planned for you today. It's uh, well, we think it's good. Good enough. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> we thought it was good. And then, uh, yeah, maybe not. So, but, oh, hey, cheers. Coffee cheers. Talk, podcast, tech Who, podcast. Who's brought coffee? Who's brought coffee today? Oh, by who's the way, um, I have a goose in this Sponsored cup. by goose? Sponsored, but is, I noticed, I, I was trying to pick a cup today, and I did notice that this one was made in England, and with recent news, it seemed like, you know what? We're gonna go with this one. So, yes. Sad news for hearing about the Queen, but now yes. we have a King over the Commonwealth. We are in Canada, so this actually affects us mm -hmm. and our laws. So yes. this made me think today. I have my cup is from made in England. So yes, yeah, yes. Sad news this week. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know what else to say about that, but yeah. sad news. And uh, so to all the Commonwealth other countries out there, yeah, we're in the same. Mm -hmm. the same thing right now so so yeah untitled the goose cup untitled goose cup <laughs> yeah yeah oh by the way so we were we were talking before thinking like about like having our cups sponsored potentially yeah if people want to buy our cups of coffee what do you think about that well you could go to our description and buy us a cup of coffee from buy us a coffee and uh we might tape a sticky note on here with your name that says this episode yeah. is sponsored by Marvin from Kansas. And, yeah, get, um, get some post at least at least for now, like some low budget post-it notes. <laughs> well, I've got some high budget post-it notes here that a lot of them. We could get a lot of sponsorships going with, <laughs> with post-it notes. So, um, buy us a cup of coffee and yeah, join us if you can't buy us a cup of coffee. Join us with a cup of coffee. Say hello in the comments yeah. and ask questions yeah. and. Um, yeah, join this community. So if you haven't joined us before, we like to, Stephen and I have always gotten together, gone to a coffee shop, drank coffee, and talked about tech. So we decided to bring that to you guys and invite you into the conversation. And we try and pick some random topics. They might be boring, they might be fun, um, mostly tech related that we wanna share with you. So yeah. I have something I wanna start out with. I don't have a, uh, have a, slide for this or anything but recently we rented a car and they gave me my receipt and i'm not going to show you all my private information on the other side there's all the but ooh, does this stand <laughs> out as weird to you that the receipt came on this type of paper so i and i, I can tear off the edges but please but, but you need to, you no no you need to fold it first you need to fold you them fold both it? ways you fold them yes that way it's and then the back related. and then you like and then, then you can do it. Yes. <laughs> That's oddly satisfying. You're not wrong. Save the save but, the other one for the end of the show. People, yes, save the other on. one for the end of the show. Okay, you'll have to <laughs> remind me. But yeah. it's dot matrix. It is the receipt. They handed me the receipt, and I was like, "What's that?" <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, some of you watching might be like, what is that? Well, you'll have to go to the Google machine and, and uh, Google search that. So yeah, um, well, watch Cody them. loves it. We appreciate it, that, Cody. If anybody wants to know more of that, there's a really good YouTube channel, uh, LGR, LGR, Lazy Game Reviews. He covers that kind of things in printers. Yes. <laughs> so. uh, when was the last time you got, not even just like, had this yourself, but was given a piece of paper that was dot matrix with the perforations on the side. 
You know, that's a good question. Like, I don't even know, like, the Staples even sell that kind of paper. They must have bought a 20-year supply of the paper. And they're like, we got to use it all up. We paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> and this was like a major national like car rental company, like one of the big ones. I'm not going to call them out. <laughs> <laughs> no, do call them out. That's cool. That's not That's not a bad thing. That's a cool thing. I'm all right, this. <laughs> it was probably like the tech guy. He's like, you know what? I'm going to recommend we use this kind of thing just because he was in the like retro tech. And he's like, this is the optimal solution for our needs. And it really isn't. He just wanted to do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> should we do the sushi report? Yeah, let's do the sushi right. report. The sushi report. So today's sushi coin is at $1.58 and it's down 4.07%, uh, which we were laughing about. We we're like, what was it last week? Neither of us remembered. So um, bad buy been, on sushi today. You, you've been doing a daily report and not a weekly report. So we've not had the proper adequate information to even make judgment of where we're at, but it's okay. It's always, it seems to always be down. So if any of you remember <laughs> what the sushi coin was at last week, I feel like it was $1.65. Um, yeah. And I'm too lazy to go back and watch last week's episode to find out. So yeah, it's $1.58 right now, Canadian. All right. Sushi coin. I'll try to take a note of that for next week. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't throw out my sticky note that I have the price on. But I think it is safe to say, please don't buy sushi coin. I think we can at least recommend that. Well, unless you know what you're doing. <laughs> if you're buying sushi coin, you probably don't know what you're doing. That's true. That was that was your case. So it was basically which one sounds the coolest. All right. All right. All right. That's a bad way to invest. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it sure is. So now that we've already talked for seven minutes and uh, we have a lot to talk about. We're going to talk about 13th Gen Intel. We're yes. going to talk briefly about the Nintendo Direct that happened this morning with some new announcements. Splatoon, PlayStation event, the GoPro 11, and potato chips. But you're going to want to stick around for these potato chips because this is pretty amazing or disgusting, depending on how you see things. And at the end of the show, Ken can continue to. Yes. As long as you guys remind me, because I feel like I'm going to forget. So yeah. remind me in the comments and uh, you'll have to remind me, Stephen. What happens, Stephen, when we hit 100 subscribers? We're at an amazing 71 right now. And all of you are super amazing. One better than the other. No, you're all, <laughs> you're all the same. No, you're not, because one of you is my son. Some of you are better than others. <laughs> <laughs> okay so at 100 subscribers we are aiming to upgrade our lowly 720p to a beautiful 1080p for better or for worse to see our beautiful and possibly hideous faces so yes we'll be upgrading to a 1080p at 100 subscribers that's our goal so if you guys would like to see that um yeah feel free to subscribe and join along as uh, we'd like to improve this channel a little bit by little bit. Thomas is saying party hats at 100. Party hats at 100? Oh. Okay. Is, it, is it in the budget? <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends if people sponsor our coffees or not. Yeah, so. buys a coffee. We may have some for uh, party hats too. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that's, that's awesome. We might have to buy shavers as well because we'll be in high def and you'll be able to see some face cream and stuff. So, yeah. Um. <laughs> just because you'll be able to see us better it's not all like blurry like this should we get a, a, a shaving cream sponsor a should shaving a cream sponsor <laughs> <laughs> sponsored by Gillette <laughs> oh. right. let's, that's 10 minutes of like talking about nothing and then so let's go <laughs> let's go you know what this is what we do we talk about nothing and everything all right 13th generation CPUs will hit 6 gigahertz out of the box. Rumored to hit 6 gigahertz out of the box. Kind of rumored, kind of official, but um, yeah. So. so the 13th generation CPUs have not been unveiled yet. Um, they, I felt like I saw a date here somewhere. Um, September 27th, there's supposed to be an announcement. Who knows if they'll re reveal them there? They probably will. That's 13th generation CPUs. 
And these are called, what are they called? Raptor Lake? Yeah. And if you saw our thumbnail for this video and you're trying to figure out what it is, it's like a dinosaur on a dock. At a lake. By, by a lake. So Yes. <laughs> anyway. Because this is like a tech channel, when you say the word dock, I have to feel like to clarify. Not like a switch dock. Not that no. kind of dock. Like actual real life outside. Like <laughs> a like a um, jumping off the dock into the lake yes yes the raptor lake so yeah. rather than talking about like not tech related stuff like lakes and fishing and stuff do you want to talk about these <laughs> we can do that all right yeah so i feel like the the six gigahertz so it looks like from these reports that between like 5.3 to 5.7 gigahertz or maybe that was the um uh, the ryzen 9 is capable of 5.7 okay and there were and there was like the turbo turbo like three mode for intel or something that could pump it to like bump it up to like 5.8 um and so with the k so if you had like the k model for the intels then that can overclock further it seems to be that the assumption is that it wouldn't be a hard thing to get to six gigahertz from that point once you're overclocking mm -hmm. with the k models if you have the adequate cooling and all of that kind of stuff so it seems that out of the box it's not going to hit six gigahertz with like the automated like frequencies and stuff and the, the the default turbo settings but it seems that if you unlock things and start fiddling around it seems that six gigahertz is actually reasonably within target so well they're saying that it could get up to eight gigahertz when overclocked so that's yeah, so I mean that's probably going to be like the course of the more like extreme enthusiast um, overclockers that have like extreme cooling. Mm -hmm. um, They're saying a fifteen percent improvement in single thread performance and forty one percent improvement in multi thread performance, which is that's not pretty, a small thing. That's yeah. big. That's big. Yeah. So um, where that may be coming up is I shared to you um, before we started. There was a um, I think an article from today from. Ooh. Tom's hardware. Yes. yes. There's one. the Raptor. The Raptor. It looks different than the one on the dock. Yeah. We, in our thumbnail. We couldn't get the same one. To, we couldn't hire him to take photos. Um, I think, yeah. So this one, uh, apparently Intel accidentally, whether or not that's accidental or not, um, they're thinking from this article that it maybe it wasn't accidental, that maybe they're trying to um, get stuff out before AMD reveals their new stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so, but this one was actually talking about the amount of cores for these for the 13 series, which is okay. really impressive. So the, the flagship one, the i9, is going to have eight performance cores. So that one's hyper-threaded, so that's 16 threads. So eight physical cores, 16 threads. But it's also going to have, which was, was it? Yeah, 16 Grace Munt energy efficient. So energy efficient, they're still pretty powerful in my opinion, but 16 yeah. efficiency cores plus the eight like powerful ones. So that's 32 threads altogether. Um, for oh. the so which is a That's pretty crazy. yeah so if you mix that with like that high speed um that's a pretty i think it's gonna be a pretty fast and the i7 13700k 16 cores and 24 threads at once yeah so it still has the same still has the same number of eight performance cores it mm -hmm. seems just fewer efficiency cores but that's still a really powerful like yeah um even like the i5 i yeah. mean it's got six uh performance cores and then, and then eight energy like that's still good because the six yeah. the six performance uh ones are hyper threaded as well i do believe i think so okay. that would be 12 threads there if i'm correct and yeah. then yeah and then, and then the, yeah it's saying a total of 20 threads at once huh. like wow. even it, <sighs> unless you're doing like super crazy rendering or something i5s mm -hmm. are for gamers and stuff i5 is the way to go um you don't need i7 i9s at this point for most gaming i think yeah so, um yeah no that's uh pretty sweet it'll be interesting to see at the end of the month there what that looks like hopefully it is released at the end of the month and are yeah. announced and that could be some pretty big improvements for upcoming yeah. pcs what I'm curious though too is they didn't mention it here. I I know that the i3 is the entry level, but I do want to see what they put off the i3 because at this yeah. point their, their i3s are faster than when I'm pushing on my old i7 tech. 
<laughs> like, yeah, yeah. The, the modern i3s are not what they were years ago. So, um, yeah, no, for sure. In the mobile and the laptop space, they're still not great, but in the desktop grade, the i3s this, these days are they're really mm -hmm. good themselves. So, I mean, I, yeah. I still want to see what they put out for that. Yeah, no, I know. I mean, even for gaming, like, depending on what your not everybody plays the the newest first person shooter or something like that. A lot of people no. are still playing uh I can't even remember what it's called now, the one I play all the time. <laughs> the uh Fall Guys. The Fall Guys. What's that shooter Fall I guys. play? Fall yeah. guys. I thought you were gonna <laughs> no, say it's not a shooter. <laughs> but the, the way you're going, I was like, so that's not a shooter. <laughs> I had a shooter on the brain and I was trying to get Fall Guys <laughs> out. Fall guys. So. But yeah. Fall Guys, I don't think is that demanding on a computer is what I'm no. saying. No, and even then you can turn down settings and get it running on lower end tech. I mean, it runs on the Switch, which yeah. to be honest is not a very powerful device, especially in handheld mode. So if it's running on a Switch, you can probably run in your computer. That's yeah. within 10 years of age. Yeah. So that was That was a really smooth transition there, Stephen. Ooh, it's like I knew it was coming. Yeah, it's like you hit the post there. It's like perfect timing. Because we are going to talk about the Nintendo Direct September 2022 event that happened this morning at 7 a.m. Pacific time. I slept through it. My son got up and watched it. Um, of course he I'm did. Like, I'm like, I'm just going to read the highlights after. Um, I, I I told Cody last night, uh, who's in the stream right now, I told him that I would uh, I was aiming to like watch it with him this morning, and mm -hmm. I slept in too. I'm like, you know what? I need the sleep, and I saw that Cody <laughs> Cody can give me the highlights, so he did this morning. So thanks, Cody. Yeah, he was so, he was the reporter on the field this morning. It was still on when I got up, and I asked my son Thomas here what what he thought of it and he's like it's all about farms <laughs> well, that's what that's what cody said too <laughs> it's like how many farm games do you need <laughs> <laughs> oh so, so it's, it's good it's conclusive between thomas and cody it is full of farm games yeah full of and that farm seemed games. kind of accurate when i was skimming it it seemed that's i could kind of see what they were getting at yeah so we're gonna we're gonna talk about some of the highlights that actually sparked my interest we're not going to go into all of this um, but so let's jump kind of over to this. This is on IGN there. Um, so some of the main highlights, they did announce the new Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And if I click on this, I believe, what was it? May 13th, 2023, um, Tears of the Kingdom is supposed to be coming out. And I'm sure you can find trailers and all that online now if you, if you go check that out. Um, Pikmin 4 was announced, yeah. so that is official as well, and that's coming in 2023. And that Pikmin has me a little 4. bit interested because apparently it's going to have more of a, a lower-to-the-ground first-person perspective. I'm kind of interested to see because I'm not a big fan of the Pikmin series. Like I am and okay. I'm curious to see what they do with this. I want to see the, the change in there, um, yeah. how you control things. I, I don't think that one had a specific date like Zelda did. I believe it just says 2023. I could be wrong on that um i'm not sure either and they didn't have any really actual real footage from it either so so those were the the big games that kind of sparked my interest and then there was a bunch of um games for nintendo 64 games that are coming to the switch online so um some of those include uh, so goldeneye 007 was the one that kind of caught my attention and it will apparently be multiplayer right with one other person um and the interesting thing is it's also coming to xbox which is a gonna be i believe a remastered edition right okay um for the but I, but, but then they didn't announce that at the uh Nintendo no show. not at the nintendo <laughs> but I believe that that, yeah coming yeah. to xbox <laughs> yeah coming to xbox in the nintendo announcement what's going on here <laughs> uh so a few of the games that came up, and some of them were, and you, you'd you mentioned this was more exciting to you, was the Mario Parties. Oh, yeah. Mario Party 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. Which are always kind of fun, especially if there's a group of people. Even the older ones, they're a lot of fun. Um, Those are the ones that I have, like, missed playing, that I 
didn't get the play that I actually want mm-hmm. to play that I hear are actually good. Um, the more modern ones I found boring and not as good. Like, mm-hmm. I think I, I felt like I played these ones a little bit back in the day and it seemed good. Yeah. And I want, so I, this is actually something that would get me interested in actually getting like that membership is those games. I actually do want to play those. Yeah, no, those are interesting. Um, honestly, I never got into the Pokemon games, so I know those are big for some people. <laughs> Ironically, Excite Bike and 1080 are kind of appealing to me. Yeah. Um, 1080 was that. a big game back in the day. Yeah, I didn't actually play Pilot Wings. Did you play Pilot Wings? Not on the N64. I played it on the Super Nintendo, which I really, really did enjoy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so those are some of the games that will be coming. I don't know that there's specific dates. I think it said kind of one by one. Um, so that's for the Nintendo Switch Online and Expansion Pack, like the Expansion Pack membership that includes the N64. So um, yeah. I'm kind of excited for that, for sure. Um, any other thoughts on on the announcement? There's something else that we want to talk about that happened, but um, Nintendo-based, but any other thoughts on the announcement today? I know there was more than that, but... Uh, other than, like... I can only recollect kind of like my personal opinion on it, but that's just subjective. Like, I don't know if it ever felt so just kind of disconnected and just not and just disinterested in general. I mean, but then you at the last minute showed me the Mario Party 1, 2, and 3 actually had me somewhat interested. <laughs> like mm-hmm. that. I was like, oh, those are in there. Like the Golden Knight yeah. thing. I was like, yeah, okay. Um, it's like I, the, the Mario Party thing. Because if you actually try and go and buy those Mario Parties, they're probably like 60 to 100 bucks each. Well, they're super expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Where the Golden Eye, I feel like you can go and find it for like 20, 30 bucks somewhere at this point mm-hmm. in some like used bin. Like, um, the Mario parties are the ones that I think are hard to actually find and play. And, yeah, uh, and that, they're actually, expensive for the GameCube as well. Yeah, the Mario parties. Yeah, yeah. So I actually think those are the ones that are the most valuable in a way mm-hmm. uh, in reality. So yeah, but yeah. overall, I just felt not too interested in the whole thing. But that could just me be getting older and kind of just whatever, right? Maybe I'm just old now. We're we're young at heart. Well, at least maybe you are. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So that kind of leads into the next thing was what happened with Nintendo over the weekend and their stocks stocks today. So in Japan, Splatoon 3 sales were just crazy, breaking records and stuff. And the stocks for Nintendo... Um, soared, I think, 5.5% today. Yeah. Yeah, which was there, as this um, article says, was their biggest increase since December 2020. Yeah, so um, I think the Splatoon 3 just really outsold a lot more than than uh, expected. I guess, uh, Stephen... You'll have to... Excuse me for a second. I just got spooked yeah. by the door knocking. One second. Yeah, no problem. I'll keep keep talking there while we're waiting for him do any of you have any questions or comments about the nintendo um direct or what happened with splatoon today um i'll keep an eye out there in the comments nobody is commenting so probably not um ken you'll have to carry me about three minutes I'll have to carry you for about three minutes. Unexpected. I'm excited for Splatoon, by the way. This was more exciting to me than my quick note. I want to play Splatoon 3. I'm excited. Okay, I'm going to jump over. um, I'm going to do this out of order. I'm going to jump over to GoPro, and then we'll come back to this in in a moment when you're back. So I'll be right back. Okay, sounds good. So while Steven is just stepping away from us, we are going to jump all the way down to GoPro, because I think that'll be easier for me to carry on my own here. So the GoPro Hero 11 Black and Mini have, I don't want to call it being announced, but they are, um, they, they have been announced, but we don't know all the specs. So if we jump over here, if you go over to the GoPro's website, as of right now, so tomorrow, September the 14th, you can see this on GoPro's website. They've got the GoPro Hero 11 Black, as well as 
what appears to be a GoPro Mini. And all it says is 11. Um, so we're assuming it's called the GoPro Hero Black 11. And that's tomorrow that that's coming out. There's a little teaser on their website. Now, if you um, watch the teaser, it doesn't give you a lot of information, but rumors and leaks did come out about a week ago that they're expecting the new GoPro 11 to have a new sensor in it, um, which supposedly will increase or improve the stabilization of the camera, as well as um, hopefully better low light performance. So in the, I, I've noticed, and I think we talked about this last week, in the lower light performance, the GoPro definitely isn't as stable. It's a little bit more shaky, a little bit more grainy. And I know that's with all cameras that happens, but the GoPro 11 with the new sensor hopefully will solve some of those problems. Now, something interesting that's happened here with the GoPro 11 coming out is they announced it for tomorrow. And let me, your Steven's back here. Um, the GoPro 11 was announced for tomorrow, which is interesting because that is the day that DJI is supposed to be announcing their Osmo Action 3 as well. So um, this was maybe a day or two ago that GoPro announced it's coming out tomorrow. Um, DJI is having their announcement tomorrow. There's a kind of clash of the of the Titans. action cameras. Yeah. So um, the interesting thing is GoPro has typically launched in the middle of September and DJI, I believe, has moved their announcement up by a few weeks, if not a month. So it's kind of interesting that they're doing that on that day. So if you're interested in the GoPro, check that out tomorrow. All the specs will be out. I'm sure there'll be a ton of videos coming out on that as well. You all good there, Steven? Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> An unexpected surprise. It's okay. It's all good. All right. <laughs> Some miscommunication, but I think we're, I think we're good. Oh, we're all good. All right. So let's jump back over to Splatoon. Um, had you you'd want did you have any thoughts on that we were <clears throat> well this is okay so this was a surprise that this would be like the top selling game of all time basically for nintendo like the quickest selling like the quickest selling and just doing well because we've already had mm -hmm. splatoon one and two so what made number three all of a sudden just like did the first two pave the way for, to create kind of the ecosystem for it so when the third came that um mm -hmm. But this excites me because uh, one, it's a kind of game that's like doing super well, and it's not some like super triple A like army shooter. If that yeah. makes sense. Like it's actually yeah. something that you can play with the family, and I want to play it. Um, mm -hmm. So it's ex it's nice to see a trend of not angry video gaming as a top seller. Like, yeah, not to I know Thomas. Of... Thomas plays it. He enjoys it. Yeah. And I, I'd like to, I don't have a Switch, but I, it's something that I might consider. Um, mm -hmm. I would like to get if I had a Switch, so. Yeah, no, so it's a, a cool thing. I, it's amazing that um, it's been that, po I, I'm not surprised, but it's amazing that it has been that popular um, with the sales in Japan over the weekend, so. Yeah, and apparently it's also from this article, again, from NintendoLife.com. Um, saying that it's also been topping the sales also in the UK. So not just mm -hmm. Japan. Yeah. So that can continue to be really good. I don't even know. Is this even released in North America? Like we have it here, right? Like what's. Well, I don't, I don't actually know. I haven't gone and looked. You sent me this article this morning. Yeah. And... I haven't, to be honest, I haven't, cause I don't have a switch. So I haven't been following closely. Like I, I didn't actually, out. I didn't actually look. Um, so if you know, I'm, comment below because that uh, would be. I'm going to assume it's or... out here, but it's only mentioning the the Japanese mm -hmm. sales in the UK. But I'm going to assume it's already out in North America as well. I'm not. I don't yeah. think they do limited releases as much anymore. That kind of stuff like they used to. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, we'll move on to the next topic, which is kind of interesting. I just talked about um, the battle of GoPro and DJI, and today was the Nintendo announcement. But lo and behold. PlayStation is doing their next state of play today as well. <laughs> so 
Um, yeah, so it seems like everybody is trying to compete for your your time and your money. And PlayStation is doing their state of play today. You can watch it on YouTube and Twitch, I believe, at 3 p.m. Pacific time. So they're going to be talking about um, updates for the PS5, the PS4, and the PSVR 2. Right. Do you, you guys have the original VR, correct? Yes, we do. Yeah. Um, I've used it at your house. It's, it's actually pretty fun. It is pretty cool. Um, yeah. I, I consider that VR like the um, lowest you'd want to go to find acceptable for VR. Like I found mm-hmm. it an acceptable, affordable way to get into VR. Mm-hmm. Um, there's going to be people who have systems will say that it's not good, but I'm going to disagree. I'm going to say that, that PSVR is actually a decent machine for the price and the accessibility. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, so VR, because, yeah, no, there hasn't been the second VR released yet. Um, yeah, I'm not sure when that's coming. Um, and I feel like this generation, this is like the longest that a previous generation has continued to stick around with like the, because the PS4 is still quite powerful for a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so it looks like they're still really going to be including the PS4 in this. Yeah, yeah. So um, I don't know what they're announcing, but it'll be interesting to see. I know because. Um, E3 is really, that's usually in June, I believe. E3 is really kind of pulled back and the companies, especially over the last couple of years with everything that's gone on in the world and they've been doing yeah. bigger announcements throughout the year or at different times of the year um, rather than at E3. So it, it'll be interesting to see what the state of play has to uh, to say about yeah. the PlayStation. Yeah. So not a lot there, but we'll uh, maybe... If there's something cool, maybe we'll check back in on that next week. Mm-hmm. Now, I've already talked about the GoPro. That was our next topic and how right. that's getting um, tomorrow. You'll be able to pick those up or at least order them. Um, but our last one is potato chips. <gasps> Ruffles releases Kentucky Fried Chicken KFC flavored potato chips in Canada. No way, eh? Yes way, A. Eh? Yes way. <laughs> KFC, PFK. If you're wondering what PFK is, Canada has French and English as um, official languages. And I think PFK, oh, I'm going to butcher this. I shouldn't even try. Is it poulet? Poulet. Poulet fried chicken. <laughs> poulet. Yeah, I just know. Yeah, something. Something like that. Yeah. So original recipe chicken chips. Um, with Ruffles, they'll be available in different Loblaw stores, Metro, No Frill, Shoppers Drug Mart, Sobeys, Walmart, and other stores um, in 66 gram packages and 180 gram packages. Question is, what is KFC flavor? It probably, <laughs> it probably tastes like the skin of KFC chicken. Yeah, probably. You're probably right. <laughs> okay, I, I will say this. I'm more excited about these chips than, like, other flavors of chips. Like, oh, I'm not yeah. a big ketchup fan chips. Yeah. I don't... You know what? I don't... Do they even... Ha- I don't think they have ketchup chips in some countries. I think that's a Canadian thing. Yeah. Apparently. I don't really like them. No? No. Um, you know what sure. I don't really like? Hmm. So, do you like cheesies or cheese puffs, like those, like puffy cheesies? Oh, you do like those. Okay, yeah. I don't. Not, like not, those. not. I don't like the twists. No, like I like the Hawkins hard cheesies, the super hard ones. I don't like the Cheetos ones. I like the Hawkins ones. Okay, so no, I like the puffy cheesy puffy ones, like the <laughs> pillowy ones that you could like sleep on as a pillow. Those ones I like. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you and I are on opposite ends. You like the hard, crunchy one. <laughs> which ones are gross? Yeah, which ones are gross? The KFC I feel like, or the cheese? I feel like I feel like what I'm saying. I feel like he's telling me what I, what I'm saying is gross because that would be Cody. He would tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the hard cheesies. I find the big puffy ones gross. I don't like the hard cheesies. They're a struggle. I like the the puffy. So no. okay, if you like, what's your all-time favorite chip? 
flavor. Like if you had to go, if you walk into the corner store and you had to pick one, which one's your favorite? My like default basic, like no thinking is probably like Doritos. Just like the Okay, but what Doritos. flavor? What flavor? The red one? Like, yeah, the default red, whatever that is, nacho cheese Doritos. See, I was going to say my favorite is actually Doritos, but the blue one, the Cool Ranch. Okay, that's fine. They're not that's bad. Fine. And then like all, all like... Doritos, like to me, Doritos taste good. Like they just typically taste good. Any Dorito. Yeah. Even the fire flame one. Hawkins Cheesies all the way. Yes, I agree, Cody. Thank you. Hawkins Cheesies. I don't know if those, uh, I don't know if they have those in the US. They're like Cheetos, but harder and better. And grosser. <laughs> <laughs> No. They're not gross. They're not gross. They're just, I don't like the texture. I, yeah, I, it, I don't know. Uh, we're on different wavelengths then. That's why they got to have both, I guess. Cause not everybody agrees on that one. Yeah. But yeah, but, but okay. So I like, I like to default to Doritos, but sometimes I like Pringles. If I go to it, I can just down a bunch of Pringles, like just regular salted Pringles. But if I'm having like a sandwich, I really like sandwich. If I'm having a sandwich, I really like salt and vinegar chips. Salt and vinegar is good. I like with, sour cream and onion. Something. The sour cream and onion. I do like a ripple chip more than like a flat chip. Okay, you like the ruffle? Ruffles are good that way. And I um yeah, so like ruffles, I like them uh yeah. The KFC actually sounds like not too bad. <laughs> Well, actually, we should uh, find ourselves a bag, and maybe we can both like be eating some KFC ruffles in the near future. Thomas says Pringles are the best, which he just ordered two bottles of Pringles off of Amazon, and that's all that came in the order. So he was all excited about that. Did they send it in a big box? Oh, I'm sure they did. Oh, I think it was a bag. Oh, okay. No. Sorry. I think it'd be no. cool if it was a big, huge box for Pringles. <laughs> I do like jalapeno chips too, like something a little bit more zip, but then you have to have something to offset your mouth off. Yeah. Like a sandwich. A sandwich. Do you ever put your chips in a sandwich? Do you know what I put my chips inside of sometimes is a burrito, like a taco soft shell taco burrito. Hmm. I'll put Doritos in there. <laughs> That's not bad, actually. No, it's not. Like... Like a, a chip inside of like a ham sandwich is pretty good. Gives it a little oh. crunch. Yeah, but I want on the outside there. I Well, you do I both. I a do both. A little bit inside, a little bit outside. <laughs> outside. <laughs> what about dip? Do you need dip? So if you put your dip in the sandwich, is it no longer dip? Well, that's a condiment. Sauce. It's sauce. <laughs> it, has to, it has to be on the outside to stay a dip. So yeah. So if like, <laughs> so anyway, our question anyway. of the day, <laughs> do you want to try the KFC chips? I want to try them. I actually think it sounds a heck of a lot better than most chips that are out there. Personally, I'm kind of neutral. I would consider doing it as a review for this show with you just so I can talk about it um there's other chips i think i prefer to eat i don't know that i want the whole bag like i think i just want a handful well you can get that 66 gram bag or whatever it's called whatever that's the, true not the 180 something but bag. the problem is if i everybody's gonna want to try them so then you may as well buy the big bag yeah well thomas would want to try it that's for sure yeah <laughs> so okay this is our question of the day do you want to try kfc chips but i'm going to add in an additional question here based upon what okay. we talked about are you the soft and puffy, cheesy, what's it called? Uh, what, what, what are they called again? I, I left my name. Cheesies. Well, just cheese puffs. We'll call them cheese puffs. Do you like cheese puffs or like the cheese, what are they called? The Hawkins cheesies, like a hard cheesy. Yeah. Which one do you prefer? Like so the actually... cheese puffs are the one that you get in the jumbo garbage can like this that are like, like if you added water, it would sink down to like that much. Yeah. <laughs> but those good. are bad those they're are good. good they are so okay. good yeah that's 
basically those should be, those should be illegal. <laughs> don't make it don't, don't make me have to buy at the black market. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh yeah. Leave us a comment on your favorite chip. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Is it time yeah. to perforate the other side? Oh I remembered. Drum roll. We'll bend it over. Yeah. Bend it both oh. ways first for optimal peelage. Peripheration, whatever you call it. Uh, satisfying. Yay. Yay. And now you make little, like, fold these up and make cool little things with them. Like bracelets and stuff. <laughs> Looks so like a, hosp a hospital. <laughs> yeah, when you go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the good old days. Yes. Yeah. Well, any other final thoughts on today's episode there, Stephen? Well, I will finish up again with, again, at 100 subscribers, um, we will be looking to upgrade our feed here from 720p to 1080p. We are looking ways to slowly improve what we do here whether it be audio, video, resolution, things like that. So, And again, if you guys would like to, um, we're playing with the idea of you buying us a coffee, and we may get some, you know, what do you think? What do you think? It could be, you know, you could buy us a coffee, and a we could put a post-it note, with, a your note on it. with your name on it. Again, only if you guys want your actual names on there. Some people may not want to have their names public, but, you know, if you want to buy us a cup of coffee and say, yeah, put my name on that mug, we can say, hey, Joe bought us a cup of coffee this morning. Mm -hmm. Or Matt bought Ken a cup of coffee that morning. And so, yeah, yeah that too. We so. appreciate that. Um, yeah, thank you for joining us today. We had a great time. And uh, any other questions out there before we say goodbye? I'm not seeing anything coming up. So, um, yeah. And again, next week. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. And again, you guys can find us also on Twitter um, at Tech Chit Chat. So I, I, I think so. Tech we'll have a link in the description. We have a link in the description below. And if you guys come across interesting articles in the week, we can also receive those if you want to send them through. Twitter is a good way to reach us. Yeah. Um, Stephen monitors way. the Twitter twenty four yeah. seven. Yeah. So if you guys are like, there's this really cool article, especially if you think it's something that's under the radar and missing the main headlines, feel free yeah. to shoot us through Twitter as well yeah and if you're really bored one night and you can't fall asleep you can listen to us on your favorite podcasting platform as well it's a great way to fall asleep at night you can listen to our voices and uh and Be listen to us to on sleep. all your your favorite platforms so make yeah. sure to check us out there leave us a review and until next time thank you so much for watching have a good day and take care